Uh, sorry to call so early. I was on my way to work. How's Teddy? What? You nearly called me in one. I'm sorry? A Teddy. Me nighty. Oh, I see. Well, now I'm sorry I didn't come a little earlier. Seriously. It's really sweet of you to worry about him so much. Well, I can't help it. Uh, has he booked his flight? Oh, your ears must have been burning. Stephen's put round to see how you Oh, well, I'm feeling fine. Actually, more than fine. Well, hopefully because you've decided to stay a bit longer. Nope. I am on the first flight I can get. Uh, have you booked one yet? Well, no, everything's full, but uh, I'm on the waiting list for a cancellation. Uh, maybe that's the uh, universe trying to tell you something. Oh, I told you, I need to see him again, whatever the outcome. And like I say, I, I hear you, but uh, maybe you should check with the doctors, make sure you're fit enough to fly that far. Do you know, he's, he's, he's got a point. Well, the only thing wrong with me is not remembering what happened with my son. And this is the only way I'm going to find out. Oh, my mind is made up. Uh, this is not a couple's counseling group. More sewing, less chat. We are sewing. Uh, well, maybe I just don't want to hear about your relationship issues. Keep your personal lives out of the workplace. Hi. Who's going to say it? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, what is it? I'm, I'm kind of busy. I got you a coffee and a pastry. I thought we could grab 15 minutes. Oh, well, that, that, sounds, uh, that sounds great, but uh, well, Carla's out and I'm, I'm swamped. I, I can't even uh, spare five. All right. Well, here you go. Enjoy. Oh, d d don't be like that. How do you expect me to be? I'm not going to keep chasing you, Stephen. If you decide you want to spend some time together, well, just let me know. Y Elaine, wait. see Leo again. Will you give him my love? Of course I will. Come here, you. <laughs> hey, you got a flight there? Oh, well, it looks like the universe wants me to see my son again after all. What time are you flying? 4.30. So there's time for me to take you for a cappuccino? Well, I'd rather just get to the airport. And spend hours drinking overpriced rubbish? Please, let me say goodbye properly. Go on, then. I'll message you. And I'll let you know how it goes. All right, have a safe trip. Thank you. Teddy, uh, I need to tell you the truth. I know. You think I'm not well enough to... How's your coffee? Is it all right? Uh, it's, it's fine, thanks. It, it's not that. It's... I think this milk might be on the turn. Do you want me to make you another one? Uh, do you mind if we're having a, a private conversation? Sorry. Sorry for caring about me customers. Alison, this is, this is hard to say, but... Uh, your son doesn't give a damn about you. Maybe. The fact is, I cannot remember what he said to me when we met. You did. And you told me before the accident. He wasn't interested. And since then, he's been told you were in a coma. That you might die. And has he responded? No. Now, what kind of son does that? Well, maybe he... You know maybe about it. Now, listen, I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to go all the way out to Canada. And you're going to try and trace him like you did before. And this time, he'll ignore you. He won't even bother to meet you. I guarantee it. And then what? You'll be exhausted and emotional, having spent hundreds of pounds getting out there and having to spend hundreds more getting home. Now save yourself the bother and the expense. He doesn't want you in his life. I, I know it's hard to take, but it's the truth. And you know it. You're right. This is a fool's errand. I'm sorry. Why don't you go home to Stockport? Try and forget about him. Move on. I suppose it's all I can do. Thank you. I wasn't sure about you when we first met, but you've turned out to be a good friend. You've been through so much already. I don't want to see you go through more. 
Uh-oh. I better get back to work. Goodbye, Daddy. Bye. And thanks again. Up. Or I'd find you at lunch. Hello, you're back working, are you? No. I uh, just come to see Stephen. Oh, shame. We miss you. Love you too, Fiona. What's up? Um, look, I don't suppose me and Michael could use the factory early evening. We've got this uh, potential new client. We've got a presentation lined up. We just need to print some labels off. Of course. In fact, you can have it sooner than that. Uh, hey, everyone, I think that uh, since we've finished the Jennings order, you uh, deserve an early finish. You mean now? Uh, consider it a reward for all your hard work, despite the gossiping. Are you having a laugh? Well, you can stay if you want to. No, oh, forget it. You didn't have to send everyone home early. Well, I'm in a generous mood. Oh. Yeah, I helped uh, Teddy find some closure today. Feels good to be there for someone. I love the fact you've taken such an interest in him. Although... What? I don't suppose it's got anything to do with Jenny. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Still here, Teddy. I thought you'd be gone by now. Hoped, you mean. Sorry? I remember. Remember what? Everything. I don't understand. I think you do. I think you've done something to my son. Teddy, whatever you think you've remembered... I spoke to a friend who used to be in Special Ratchet. And he pinpointed where Leo's last text was sent from. It was sent from here. But sh surely that can't be right. I, I think your mind is playing tricks on you. I also remember telling you that before I had my accident. And now that really isn't true. It is. I remember all of it. I didn't see Leo in Canada at all, but you told me that I did. That's a total lie. So I've been asking myself, why? Why would you lie to me about that? Come on, let's, uh, let's go inside. No! I want to know what you've done to my son. I can explain everything. 